Welcome to Geographical Analysis, Lecture 25, the second lecture on bivariate regression. Recall from last class that we estimated a regression model to predict values of the number of alders based on the moisture content in an area of land. In this case, the regression slope was 1.2565, and the constant was about 12.3. For each location, or for each observation in our sample, we can calculate a residual, E sub i. And recall that the residual is just yi minus y hat. So it's the difference between the actual observed value of y and the regression line y hat at that location. So given our table of data values, x and y, we can calculate the predicted value. The predicted value is just found by plugging in the formula y hat equals a plus b x. And for each x i, so for each x i, we can calculate the predicted value of that y variable at, uh, for a specific value of x. So we plug in 21 and we get an estimate of 38.69. We plug in 49, and we get an estimate of 73.87. If you look back over here, especially let's look at this 49 example. So 49 is somewhere over here, and our estimate of 73 was along this regression line at the point where x equals 49. It's slightly different, you'll notice, to the observed value of y. And the amount that the observed differs from our regression line is simply the error in our model. It's the error in our estimate at that location. So here's our table. We've predicted values of y based on our regression line. Now we need to calculate the residual. And the residual is just y minus y hat. So we have 47 minus 38, 8.3. 35 minus 34.9, 0 0.07. So where the residuals are close to 0, the regression line passes very closely to the observed y values. And where the residuals are far away from zero, the regression line either overestimates or underestimates the value of the dependent variable. We also need to calculate the squared residual. Because remember, the sum of the squared residuals is a value, a quantity, that we are minimizing when we find our regression line. So to do that, we are just going to be squaring the residual column. So 8.3 squared is 69. 0.078 squared is 0.0061, and so on. We're just squaring these values. And we add them all together and get 509.813. And because we calculated the equation of the line, using ordinary least squares regression, using the formulas for b and a that are provided, we know that no other line through the data, no other uh, set of predicted values based on a straight line equation would produce a sum of squared residuals less than this value of 509. 